Not happy with the shape of your legs? Let's transform them together with four incredible inner outer thigh moves. I'm Samantha Clayton, Director of Fitness at Herbalife, and I'm here to help you enjoy an active, healthy life. I've talked about the often ignored inner outer thigh area before, and I've explained that even athletic people need to pay attention to these muscles because they're important for all sideways movement involved with sports. And although there is no such thing as fat spot reduction, it doesn't hurt to target specific problem areas so that when you do burn fat in workouts, you'll eventually reveal strong and toned muscles. Why not get warmed up and give these exercises a try? We're going to start out by just simply lying on your side. You wanna rest on your elbow, shoulder, elbow, and you're gonna lie on your side and I want you to make sure that you're actually lying on your hips. So you're gonna be lying on your right side to start with. You're gonna cross your left leg over the right leg. And all I want you to do is simply flex the toe of the foot that's closest to the floor and lift up and lower, lift up and lower. So this is just really simple, basic move that works the outer thigh area. You're just gonna lift and lower now, I want to show you how we can make this move a little more challenging by using a weighted bar. So let me just show you that. I have my trusty weighted bar. And all you're going to do is get back into that position. You're going to place the bar on the inside of the foot and place the other end of the bar on the mat. Hand on top of that. Again, find that position, one foot over. You want to make sure that your body's in a nice line, holding onto the weight and again, really small movements but just lifting the foot up off the floor so understand that you don't have to have a weighted bar like this from the gym you can simply use a broomstick at home just anything that you can find that can add a little bit of weight another way to add weight to, to it is to use maybe some ankle weights and um, just something to make it a little more challenging so about 12 reps is fine and then we're going to switch to working the other leg but what we're gonna do is let me show you it without the bar first. Again, get into that perfect side lying position, but this time your lower leg's behind you, foot's flexed on top, and we're gonna do a simple leg lift. So we're just lifting right here, engaging the core, engaging the glutes, keeping the foot flexed and just lifting up. Now, if you're uncomfortable in this position with the shoulder, you can always go down to a full side lying position and lay down and be comfortable. You don't want to lift the hip too high. I feel most comfortable in this position, but you choose what's right for you. And now we can add some weight to this move in the same way. So all I'm going to do is take the bar and simply add it to the outside of the foot, place my hand on the bar, get back in position, hips are forward, hips are stacked up one on top of the other. This bottom leg is simply for support. And I'm just going to lift and lower. I'm controlling the movement on the way up and controlling the movement on the way down. So I'm gonna switch sides now and perform both of those moves on the other leg. So finding your position. I'll do a few without the bar to get myself warmed up. So getting in position, hips are stacked, one leg over the other and simply lifting up. Again, flexing the foot. And lifting up. Now I'm gonna add the weight. So I'm simply gonna come over. I'm gonna add the weight, holding on to the weight here and lift up. Now this move may look super easy, but I promise you that when you give it a try, you're really gonna feel those muscles working because we often ignore these muscles, we don't work them very often, so I'm pretty confident that after doing 10 to 12 reps, you're really gonna to start to feel it. Right, let's put the bar down, and let's switch to the top leg. So again, bending the bottom leg behind you, adjusting yourself so that your hips are in that nice straight line. F foot is flexed, and I'm just lifting up. Again, you just wanna use this hand for support, because I don't want to lean forward, I don't want to lean back, I want to be nice and centred in the middle. Again, very small movements. We don't want to lift the leg up too high. 
and then let's add in that little bit of resistance, placing the bar on the outside of the foot, holding the bar down to keep it steady. And feel free to just adjust yourself so that it feels right. If you don't feel comfortable, adjust your body, make sure that everything's in nice alignment. Now let's go on to my next move that involves using a simple soccer ball. So I'll put my bar down. Simple soccer ball, you're gonna lay on the floor, lay on your back. Feet are planted, slowly lying down, all the way down. Simply take your soccer ball, place it in between your thighs at the knee area. Again, your feet should be about shoulders width apart, hips distance apart. Hands are on the floor. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, roll your pelvis under and squeeze the ball and then relax. You're gonna just squeeze the ball with all your might with your inner thighs and relax. And you're gonna to wanna to do this move again about 10 to 12 times. It's a great time to focus on your breathing, just slow controlled breathing. Remember, really tuck your pelvis under as you squeeze. Again, this is another move that looks so simple, but once you're doing it, you'll really feel those inner thigh muscles working hard. Two more squeezes. And then come back up because we're going to go to standing and we're going to start out with the side lunge and I'm going to show you how to advance that to a side lunge with a leg kick. So first, feet are pointing forward, standing nice and tall, hands are behind the head. We're just going to step out to the side and lunge down. So this is just our basic lateral lunge, really works the inner thigh muscles right here. I want you to focus though on as you're standing back up, that you're using the muscles in this stationary leg and that you're keeping your chest up. So we're gonna add in a little bit of an extra move, a side kick, but I want you to be careful not to kick too high and make sure that you really are warmed up before you give it a try. So you're simply gonna step out to the side. As you come back, you'll switch legs, you'll kick out to the side. We'll go down, come up, kick out to the side. Once you're comfortable that you're making sure that you keep your chest up, I could turn you into a kickboxer. You could bring the hands to the front and kick out to the side. If you're not ready to quite do a kick, you can simply do a lift. Step out, step up and lift. This is a great move, inner thighs and for your glutes and for your core. And then you just wanna switch sides. So again, hands behind the head. Just find the simple movement first, that's the key. Find the simple movement and make sure you're engaging the correct muscles, sitting back on the heels. Great job. Switch legs and kick. Down we go. Switch legs, kick up. Again, if you want to look like a fighter, we come right here. Make sure you're not bending forward. Back's nice and tight. Let's do two more. Try to perform 12 to 15 reps of each and repeat sets as your time allows. Two sets is a great starting point, but always remember to do what feels right for you. You may have felt that these exercises we performed really worked your core too, and that's because your core is your powerhouse. It's especially engaged when you're doing slow, purposeful movements. The days of the promise everything machines that you simply squeeze all day while seated are gone and have been replaced by these dynamic, functional movements that engage several muscle groups at the same time. Have fun adding some new exercises to your current routine. Remember to always start out slow and build up your range of motion as your body improves.